what's up i'm doing it again i'm doing it again guys i'm making another video wow so yesterday was kind of shitty for a minute not the whole day just after after work i was spending time with some people you know hanging out oh i just wasn't feeling it man i wasn't doing good i had To, took a drink of like this special experimental potion I made and it was making, wasn't feeling good. And I just felt like I was bringing the vibes down, you know? I was just kind of being that, sucking the energy out of the air and I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to be that person who's just not contributing much to the being like a black hole of fun, you know? But I kind of was that. And that's that. I wanted to tell you that. What else? What else? I've been eating more, I think. And I've been eating out more. A lot more. And it's terrible for my wallet. And it's just so easy. It's just so easy to hand someone your card and be like, give me food. And then it's good food. It's pretty damn good, too. I mean, it, you know. But it, it encourages my laziness because I'm not making as much of my own food. I'm not doing the shopping. I'm just, and then it's more unhealthy food and it's more money. So overall, it's just blah so easy so convenient oh, nice and fattening mm. oh i feel like i've been getting fat kind of not i'm obviously not obviously but like i just feel like i'm bulking up you know bulking up with like a layer of fat over my whole body and it feels good man it feels so good oh. <laughs> um When I was in middle school and high school, they had these brownies during lunch. So it's like you get lunch, you eat the lunch, and then if you felt like it, you get back in line again and go get some dessert, you know? And pay, I don't know, 50 cents. It was like 50 cents for the dessert, you know? But it's my parents' money, you know? So... I would get these brownies they were just these dense ass dents, you know, like a brick of brownie. So good. A thick layer of frosting on top, like a, like a quarter inch of frosting on top. And then like an inch high donut. Sorry, brownie that was just dense. And it was so good. I'd eat them like every day after eating a big gross sub sandwich with all that lunch meat and I'd put jalapenos on it. Less tomatoes and jalapenos, please. Just you have a weird taste in your mouth after a bunch of lunch meat with jalapenos and bread and then you eat a brownie. And then in the next class you just fucking you can't stay awake after that. Um but it was it was a good time, you know. It was a good time. Except for that I was a little bit kind of I don't know, I was kind of depressed and scared and anxious and I was not living my best life at that time. No, I don't know. If that's well Yeah, but the point is the food was okay. I was into it. And right now, thinking about this, talking about all this, is like making me feel sick, honestly. I don't feel that good right now. I need water. I'm thirsty, man. I'm thirsty and I drank all my water. But I'm going home soon, so we're, we're good. I'm gonna get more water. Um, 
oh yeah so my but the point i was gonna make about those brownies is they were dense and then i would look at the bricks of the school because the school is like a red if they were like brown red bricks and they just reminded me of the brownies so i'd like look at the bricks and just be like just want to fucking bite those bricks they look so dense and delicious i want to bite those bricks of the school walls so that was my that was the highlight of my middle school experience Actually, I think one of the biggest highlights of my middle school experience was a day, it was 420 that day. And I was, I was a want, wannabe stoner. I was not a stoner, but I thought the stoners were cool and I wanted to be one. And it was 420 and there were these girls in science class and they were just laughing a lot and they were eating Swedish fish and they tossed me a Swedish fish and they said it was drugged and I ate it, and I was just happy that these girls, like, acknowledged me and passed me a Swedish fish. And it was just one. And I don't think it was drugged, honestly. Except it did, except it was a weird little while after that. Um... Yeah, so some girls acknowledged me, they gave me something, and I put it in my mouth. I mean, that that's a little intimate. And then I was like, oh my god, am I finally, am I in the stoner community now? Like, am I, am I one of them? Is this the day? Is this the day I become cool? So I was walking to the next class, which was gym class, and it was just like, looking at the walls, like, am I, am I high? Like, mm, mm, mm. Anyway... everything was basically normal until I sat down and there was like a there was like a two minute period it was only two minutes long which is why I don't think these were drugged it was like two minutes long where the world was just very strange I mean I was just sitting I was sitting in the wrong spot and I had no clue I was oblivious the teacher's up there, she's like talking, and I'm like, ha ha ha, I'm like laughing with someone, it was just like, everyone was sitting in rows, and I was just not in any of the rows, and I did not care, and that's so not me, and then she was like, Josh, and then I snapped back, get in your spot, you know, get in your spot, I was like, yeah, cool, of course, I was just like, whoa, it's weird, and that was the end of it, so it wasn't like a drug because it was like a drug, but it was so short. It was just those two minutes. After that, I basically went back to normal, except for that I was, yeah. So anyway, but that was like the highlight. I thought that was a very fun day. After that day, I just wanted Swedish fish. I was like, maybe this Swedish fish will be, will make me have another weird day. I don't know why I wanted weird days. I just wanted a different experience, I guess. It's sad how I like it. In middle school, I'm feeling so stagnant. I'm feeling like life isn't exciting and I need more. And I need something to switch it up. It's like I'm a child. I'm in middle school. This should be a very fun time. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, elementary school though elementary school was bomb I don't know some people like I have a sibling who didn't like elementary school but then they loved middle school and high school was, eh. it was like middle school was their best time middle school was the worst time for me elementary school and high school were good we're all right uh, but Elementary school is the best, man. Everyone was friends. I was, like, popular. I don't know how that happened. I don't know where it went away. But I was, like, popular, man. I was charismatic. I was funny. I, everyone loved me. And we all loved each other. It was like everyone was friends. And we were just this big community. And it was just fun. And it was just silly. And wow. That was my experience of 
a lot of elementary schools started to take a turn in fifth grade, fifth grade, a little bit, sixth grade, and then just seventh grade, blah, crash landing. Yeah, now into blah land. Into now, going from everyone, fuck, going from everyone is friends to no one, you know? So, I just honked my horn and it scared me so bad. I was getting a little passionate there. It's getting hot in here and I realized there's some people standing right over there and they could maybe, maybe hear me. So, I gotta recover from that. Very intense. It is hot. It's fucking hot in here. I want to roll down the window, but then I don't feel private. I, people can probably hear me with my windows up just fine. But I don't feel like they can, and that's all I care about. As long as I don't feel like you can hear me, we're good. I'll talk as crazy as I want. So... So bad. I get an itch in that spot a lot. Like it's been a thing my whole life. I just anyway, it's weird. I was just ordering a thing online, you know, and then it had many shipping options. Most things I order don't have this many shipping options. There was like $60 options that were like, you're gonna get this thing tomorrow, basically. I was like, whoa, 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 hold up. I didn't do it because it was a lot of money, but it was kind of cool. I was like, I'd feel really cool if I was doing this. Like, wow, this guy must be important and rich. He's getting our, he's getting shipped on an airplane so that he can get it the very next day. That'd be crazy. No, there was free shipping and I was like, okay, I'll just do that. But then I was like, whoa, look at all these other options. And I just did the next one up. It was like UPS ground or something, you know? I was like, hopefully it's better than the free like if i'm paying money it should be better than the free and it's still four to six business days or whatever and two to six two to six and so i i can see myself in the camera i'm not have i don't have the phone clipped the other way so i can see myself and a man, kind of like checking it out, like, mmm, 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 you know? It's a little messed up. Oh, I don't know what I mean. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was fun to listen to me. I hope that you live gracefully.
I hope that you live gracefully. Blessings, beautiful people. Have a nice night. Goodbye.